Ariana. How are you guys doing? I am bringing you your August 15th through the 21st weekly tarot read for fire signs, um, Leos, Aries, and Sagittarius. Hope you guys are doing good. Big hugs, warm, warm, big hugs for sticking with me during my first week back at work. And um, I look forward to spending this whole school year with you guys. I do, um, my life revolves around school because that's where I work. So everything's about the school year. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me an opportunity to grow with you guys. And thank you for uh, watching my videos, liking them, sharing them, and subscribing to me. Also for the personal reads, for the comments, guys, and for being so cool and understanding. So thank you very much. And if I haven't responded to you as quickly as I normally do, my hours are very different now. And um, my, my day is very different. <laughs> so just give me some time. I promise I'll respond. Okay. The Ancestor of Illusion we have here from the Shaman's Oracle by John Matthews and Will Kingham is looking us right in the eye, telling us that it's time to drink of the truth of water, the waters of truth, truth of water, the waters of truth. It's time for us to soak it in. So obviously we're kind of being um, tricked. The gazelle is all about wisdom, speed, grace, agility, and being alert. And the message is, I can show you the true nature of things around you as they appear to be beautiful, but have a darker side behind them. Mm. So... It says, I will walk beside you and ensure that you are not led astray by appearances before you reach your true goal or your true resting place. Hmm. Interesting. Let me soak that in. Once we achieve this insight, we will never opt for delusion again. So the interpretation of this card is about the presence of false images, distractions, truth that goes through and like gets you at the heart the return to reality and recognizing true friends oh wow it's gonna be a very interesting read guys okay so then also with this card i always think of the throw chakra let me see if i can get it a little bit brighter in here nope that that doesn't help i don't think there we go so the throw chakra sometimes becomes closed when we decide to kind of cover up the truth, okay? We're not being honest about stuff. For example, when someone asks, oh, did that upset you? Oh, no, I'm fine. And inside you're like, I want to rip your freaking head off, you sorry son of a bitch. But, you know, you can't say that, you know. But you really could possibly say that if you found a more creative and um, collaborative way of saying that, for example. Like, yes, that did upset me. You know, there's nothing wrong with admitting that you're upset um, or admitting that you don't like something. So basically, that's what that's what happens. So then once the throat gets closed, you'll start noticing tightening around your throat. You might start drinking, smoking, or doing things to cover up the mouth. Okay? How to open up your throat chakra basically is to start speaking truth. Um, there's certain crystals you can hold. I, it's not coming to my mind right now, even though I have one in my hand. And um, basically also being honest with yourself, speaking the truth, being real, okay? So let's uh, go on. I'm sure more will come to me as, um, as we carry on, okay? So this is a reading called Stuck in a Red. Are you stuck in a red fire sign? Uh, I like to explore different options of readings. So this is going to be a five-card spread, and you can apply this to whatever aspect in your life you might be stuck in. For example, if it's love, apply it there. If it's career, apply this reading there. So if I represent a card to mean something like a partnership or a relationship, and it's for work, you would, you would attribute that to somebody at work, okay? All right, let me bless the cards really quickly. I've shuffled off camera quite a bit. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't even want to go. All right. Once again, this reading is for August 15th through August 21st. We have the um, Babylonian Tarot also in front of us by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. All right. So why are we stuck in the rut? We have the High Priestess. Oh, Ancestor of Illusion. And the High Priestess shows up. Oh, Lord. Um... 
What's the first step to getting out of it? King of Disc. What should I let go of? Princess of Cups. Interesting. What else should I let go of? Oh, okay. Lovers reversed. And what should I focus on moving forward? Nine of Wands power and overall energy is going to be the Seven of Cups. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, interesting, interesting fire signs. We got a lot going on this week. So whatever you're stuck in, whatever it is, is because we're not listening to our intuition. We're not listening to that little voice inside that says, danger, danger. <laughs> and that's why the ancestral illusion is like, hey guys, would you please listen to me? So... The High Priestess is actually in the Lover's card. Let me let me get you a closer view. Hopefully I don't knock over the camera on this video too. Um, and here she is over here with the, on top of the lion. And then we have her over here, the Lovers. That's Ishtar, okay? So her conflicted love for the Harvest God, Tammuz, eventually caused his death. So for some, some of you guys, this is a relationship, okay? For others, this is a partnership. I'm just looking at the cards, guys. I'm soaking it all in. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we're not trusting it. We're not um, allowing the information to come in, to reassess, to... Um, to open our eyes. It's almost like we desire to stay in darkness because it's easier than when the secrets are revealed and told to us, we don't want it. Also, I kind of feel like um, we want to control a lot. There's a lot of things with control. I see her on top of the lion. I see her just in control. So for some, it's it might be a control issue. Um, and you're going to have to fight this week. It's going to be something about defending yourselves. And for others, it's just the, the end of a love affair. Okay? So what is the first step to getting out of it? The king of disc. Okay. So I'm going to break it down probably two to three different ways this time. <sighs> Fire signs, we got a lot going on. Okay? So the king of disc is all about hard work. This is Nina Tura. And he is an earth sign, attributed to earth sign. So for some, there are some fire signs highly involved with earth signs right there. Bam, in your face. And um, that's the first step is to me is to be like a hard worker. Um, you're going to have to work really hard. So for some, this is an energy. This is an energy that causes growth and material production. So some fire signs are really working hard and you've got to keep working. And for others, this is a person. This is a, um, an older man, maybe in his, um, I would say mid thirties, like 33, 34. Um, they're like a good worker. They're very reliable. They're brave. They're um, a good business person, you know? However, it's about making that first seed. And I'm like I'm looking at the disc on the card. And I don't know why this is coming at me. And then I'm seeing this little plow. And it's like, you know what? You're going to have to really work hard for whatever you want. If you're starting a business, if you're starting a new enterprise, it is going to take work. If you're starting a new relationship, it's going to take some work. Whatever it is, you better be willing to go out there and be very loyal to whatever it is and reliable. Like, do not stop get it get it don't stop i'm sorry you're gonna have to work all right now what i should let go <sighs> the princess of cups interesting interesting we may need some clarifiers guys i'm looking at this and i'm like wow interesting little little person to show up so, for some, this is your daughter. And for some, this is just um, an energy. And for others, this might be... 
information. Information. So, I'm sorry that I'm, like, looking at it. I'm just, like, in shock of, like, the way that they landed and how they're landing. So, this Princess of Cups, okay, she's Ishara, and she is the bringer of, I mean, she is the goddess of marriage and childbirth. News of engagement or marriage. Somebody else got this card, too, almost in the same exact spot, and I don't remember who it is. Um, this is, okay, for some, this is energy. So this is a creative energy that has the power to take any form that it wants. Um, it has new ideas and new images, and it's all about bringing in new, 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 okay? But for some, this is what you have to get out of. Um, you have to let this go of always wanting to do something new because you, you start something, you get this idea, and you start this idea with this king, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh, but then there's something new, and then you can't make a decision, and then you go half cock throughout it. And then there goes, and you're stuck in this rut of starting something new and never finishing, okay? And then for others, we're stuck in this relationship thing, and I really feel like this is... Um, for some, this is the other woman. Mm hmm For some, this is the other woman. And she is a younger woman. And she's bringing you some news that you don't want to hear. But you're going to be all right, okay? For some, I'm sorry, you're going to be all right. And for others, you're just going to get some, some news about somebody having a baby. And it's going to be like, holy shit, I didn't see that coming. Um, and I've got a clarifier for that, all right? So that's something that we need to let go. That energy, we got to let it go. And we got to realize, hell, tomorrow's a new day. All right, now something else we need to let go. I have the lovers reversed. So like I said, apply this to whatever situation you want. For some, you made the wrong choice. So F it. You made the wrong choice. Guess what? Tomorrow's a new day. You can make a better choice. For others, this is the ending of a love affair, the ending of an engagement, or the fact that you heard your ex moved on. I don't know. But you've got to let it go. Because you start off as the high priestess upright. And now you're reversed. And when you're reversed as the high priestess, you're like breaking stuff down. You ain't playing, okay? And we gotta let that we gotta let that energy go because we're gonna have to make our dreams come true. Okay? Now, what should you focus on to move forward? The nine of wands. You're just about done with this um, cycle. We're at the nine. Nine is a sign of completion. Um, here is Gilgamesh, and he just won. He, like, got through a battle. He has the head of Humbaba <laughs> as a trophy, okay? And he's so proud of it, um, and he's got it in his hands, like, look at me, look at me. But this is tremendous strength and stability. I mean, this is just someone who has been battle-tested, okay? You have gone through the fire, and you're coming out, and you're in recovery mode, and you're going to get your justice and fairness. So I think for some, whew, for some, this is for for some of us fire signs, we are gonna get some information at the beginning of the week. And that's gonna make us feel stuck. Secrets will be revealed. And we're gonna have to be like this king of disc, reliable, hardworking, and keep it moving. Like you see, like you kind of see his face, like, oh shit. You know, like, I can't believe that happened. And then you look at this face on the, um, on this princess. Hopefully I don't knock everything over. So I want you to look at her face. She don't look very happy. So I kind of feel like the person who's bringing the news to you is probably like, here's your news, bitches, and <laughs> throws this water everywhere and when i think of like water at the mouth i think of like, like diarrhea of the mouth and like she spills all the beans and then you go and you make like this bad choice or this bad decision based on the information received or you go and break up with somebody or somebody breaks up with you because your beans got spilled remember the ancestor of illusions is in the mix okay things aren't always as they seem all right and then here we go. We're, we're, we're like, we got the head of Humbaba in our hands. Like, I got you, bitches. I got you. Either way it goes, fire signs, you're going to come out okay. You got the power, all right? I was about to start singing. I'm going to spare you because it's like super late. But I got the voice of a dragon right now. Um, 
overall energy fire signs is the seven of cups basically we are manifesting our dreams okay so the fact that is it is reversed the seven of cups is a, is a cup of seduction baby it's, it's, it's one of those where you need to pick a cup, any cup, any freaking cup, just pick one. But when it's reversed, you have picked one, damn it. We've already picked it and we're ready to manifest our dreams and freedom from addictions or obsessions. So what? that's part of what, what was needed to let go. Like, when I say addictions and obsessions, I don't want you to think that um, it only has to be like vicios. It only has to be bad things. For some people, like an addiction can be exercise. An addiction can be um, counting calories. An addiction can be overthinking a situation with the with the horrible what ifs. But what if and what if and what if and then you get your anxiety worked up and then before you know it, you're having a panic attack because you've what if the whole situation and you don't even know what the hell else is gonna happen. But damn it to hell, you think something's gonna happen, okay? So. There we go. We've made our decision. I don't think it's hard for us to make a decision right now because we're at the seven of cups reverse. The decision has been made. Okay. However, when I'm looking at these cards and I see like the seven of cups, the lovers reversed, the king, and I just kind of feel like there was just too many people in your relationship. If this was a relationship, if this is work related, you got some news and you're going to have to make a decision if you're going to stay or you're going to go. However, I feel that you've already made your decision in your mind, okay? Hmm. So, um, I was reading something on my notes. The lovers with the seven of cups. Hmm. Your life path is big enough for two people. So, if you're debating on whether you should share your life with somebody... Think about it really closely because you have room for someone else with you, okay? You don't have to walk this alone and you don't have to be alone. So I really need to clarify this um, Princess of Cups. Show me the energy behind the Princess of Cups that needs to be right there. Okay. Reconciliation with an old friend. All right. For some of us, we're going to make up with a friend. We're going to think that everything's going to be copacetic. Everything's going to be okay. Nope. We're wrong. They're out to get us. Okay. Sorry, guys. Not everybody's for you. Not everybody wants you to succeed. It's okay. Shit happens. All right. So I'm looking at the lovers and it's reversed, right? So that's telling me that we didn't learn the lesson of the Hierophant. So what we need to let go of is that situation. We need to stop seeking, for some, stop seeking relationships that are non-traditional. Okay? Stop stop jumping in the bed. Okay? This is only for some. Not everybody is like this. But, okay, look, fire signs. You know you got that hot fire in the bedroom. Okay? I'm a fire sign. I, I feel you. But not everybody can handle that hot fire, baby. You're going to have to keep it under control. You can't give them the fire. And then expect for them to, like, treat you like marriage material on the first night. You know, sometimes you meet a cool fire sign who's, like, cool with that kind of stuff. And then you, you have a relationship. But not everybody understands that um, passion like that and then respects you in the next day and treats you like a queen. Okay? So if that's what you're doing, you're finding yourself in these relationships that it's like a circle um, where you um, aren't learning the lesson of the hero fan. And that is being more, you know, inner illumination, kind of like, I hate to say it's like religious, um, minding your P's and Q's, being a little bit traditional. Because when you're, the hero fan is reversed, it's like a scandal, you know. So maybe um, a fire signs, you're finding yourself in a lot of scandalous relationships or you're finding yourself in situations where you're, where you're giving your power away because strength reversed it's almost like um, a lack of courage or the cat's out the bag. <laughs> a secret will be revealed. Bam, there we go. Secret revealed again. Ancestor of illusion. Something's coming out, guys. Okay, so if you did some dirt boo-boos, I'm sorry, but it's probably going to come out this week. But I still love you. I don't care. <laughs> 
But another thing with the, with the um, strength reverse is stop trying to control so much and keep your ego under, under the belt, okay? I know you're awesome. You know you're awesome. Some people just can't handle all the awesomeness at one time and they're just jerks, okay? <laughs> so take it down a notch if you are um, like that. Also, don't be abusive of your power, okay? Those are just some of the messages that the strength card has when it's reversed. <sighs> And for others, it's just like you're going to lose your strength, guys, because this relationship that's about to end, partnership that's about to end, is just going to knock the socks off of you. All right? It sucks, you know, but what? Next week's another week. And this will get us out the rut because either way we go, we manifest our dreams, okay? So we're not going to let that, we're not going to let that get to us. I just think that to, um, whatever the situation is, trust me, the secrets are coming out. I have the... Um, the high priestess and the cats out the bag. Oh, hell to the yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> oh, and we got somebody by the head. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, if anybody, if this resonates with anybody, please shoot me an email and let me know. Because whoever this is, whoever has this going on in their love life, holy moly, free holies, guys. This is intense. Okay, I've talked enough. I wanted to share with you guys... Um, something else okay so i got these new cards i went to a store here in houston texas hey if you live in houston texas you got to check out mind body and soul first off awesome awesome vibes cool place they have tons of tarot cards you can go in there oracle cards you can open the deck they have like um a set that you can look at touch feel you know, read the little books, make sure that it's the ones for you before you spend your money. How awesome is that? Get you some crystals. I love getting crystals. Um, I got my little smudge stick going on over here. I mean, just wonderful, cool stuff. Candles, anything you can imagine for your spirituality. Mind, body, and soul. I-10 West. Check it out. Loved it. Okay, so anyways, um, picked up these cards by Denise Lynn called Native Spirit Oracle Cards. And I would like to see what our oracle card is. Um, fire signs, for some of y'all, it's the end of a relationship or the end of a partnership. But you come out a winner. And because it, it's over, you also get to get your dream. Ah, oh, Thunder Drum. Wow. Okay, I don't know these cards very well. I'm still learning them. But those last few reads that I've done with them, oh, excuse me, amazing. Just freaking amazing. I love the pictures. So, Thunder Drum. The card meaning, uh-oh, stand up and be counted. Be assertive. That, that goes to that strength reverse, guys. Don't be shy about sharing your gifts and letting the world know about your value. Declare with authority, this is who I am, and this is what I stand for. Amen. Make a stand for others less fortunate and take some risks. Walk in the rhythm to the beat of your own drum. I like that. This is not the time to step back or to the side. So, guys, that goes right with the nine of wands, that power, right? Ain't no need to be shameful. Hey, <coughs> so what? We made a mistake. But we still come out winners, okay? The native spirit wants you to know throughout the world, indigenous people have called the spirit through drumming. Drumming was used to activate one's fighting spirit before the battle. Yeah, it's about to go down, guys. As well as for our joyous celebrations and sacred ceremonies. It was also used for healing rituals. In every case, the drum beat was used to open up spiritual realms. A thunder drum calls the thunder beings from the sky and they arrive with passion and incredible vitality drawing this card means that it's time to step into your passions and make a stand in life for what truly matters for you that's it guys it is time to stand up for yourself if this is love it's time to stand up if this is career go get that position you want so i'm just gonna read this because this is intense a powerful way to activate your life force is to drum on your chest lightly with a closed fist. It's especially powerful if you do a two beat, similar to the sound of a heartbeat, hmm, which is the most primordial sound of humans. 
this rhythm is grounding and activates your strength. Oh my goodness. And that's what we need because our strength card is reversed, guys. We need the strength to know that just because things might be falling apart beside us and around us, it doesn't take the value away of you as a person. Like, I don't care what you did. It's what you did. It's, it's, it's not who you are. You are beautiful and you are a great person and you have just... You are going to come out a champion. So if you feel like your strength is going down, find ways to build up that strength. And it will help you get out of this rut or help you make this decision or help you move to the next level of where you want to be. It's however you apply the message, all right? A lot of times when you hear a reading, you'll be like, oh, that didn't resonate with me. That was ridiculous. Well, you know, how receptive were you to the message? Because tarot isn't going to speak directly to you and say, hey, Johnny, or hey, Jackie, whatever, Jill, whatever your name is, this is what's going on in your life. And if you don't do this, this, and this, you know, it's not that clear. Like, it's a metaphorical, it's a story. And so you have to apply these characters to life, and you bring them to life. And it's telling you, guys, whatever happened in the dark, it's coming to the light, whatever it is. And it might not end the way that you thought it was, but it doesn't have to take your strength because you were made for greatness and you will continue going and you will march to the beat of your own drum. So I hope that this um, helps any fire sign who finds themselves in a tough uh, situation <coughs> this week in making any kinds of choices or decisions. So if this resonates with you, also, if you're in this love triangle that I'm seeing, please hit me up. Let me know how it goes for you because I'm kind of interested to see who the hell this Princess of Cups is. I mean, damn, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad we covered her up with the Hero Fan. I mean, not with the Hero Fan, with Strength and the Thunder Drum because you know what? We got our Strength taken away and then the Thunder Drum has said, nope, here you go, guys. I'm bringing it right back to you. So big hugs. Thank you so much. And you guys enjoy your week.